Welcome, curious minds, to our journey through the fascinating world of intelligence. Today, we're delving into the diverse theories that attempt to explain this complex phenomenon, from the traditional IQ to the groundbreaking concept of multiple intelligences. So buckle up and get ready to expand your mind. Brainiacs, have you ever wondered what makes some people super smart while others excel in different ways? Well, that's what we're exploring today, the different ideas about what intelligence is and how we measure it. Let's start with the old school approach, IQ or intelligence quotient. It's like a number that's supposed to represent how clever you are. But here's the catch. It's not just about knowing stuff. IQ tests measure things like problem solving, logic, and pattern recognition. But hold on a sec. Intelligence isn't just about acing a test. That's where psychologist Howard Gardner comes in with his groundbreaking theory of multiple intelligences. Gardner shook things up by suggesting that there isn't just one type of intelligence, but multiple. Imagine your brain is like a toolbox, and each intelligence is a different tool you can use to tackle life's challenges. Gardner identified several distinct types of intelligence as 1. Linguistic intelligence. This is for the word wizards, the poets, and the storytellers who weave magic with their words. 2. Logical mathematical intelligence. Think of it as the domain of number ninjas and logic lords who excel in problem solving and reasoning. 3. Spatial intelligence, visual virtuosos, rejoice. This is your playground, where you can navigate maps, visualize objects in 3D, and create stunning artwork. 4. Musical intelligence, melody masters and rhythm rulers. This one's for you. Whether you're composing symphonies or jamming with friends, your musical prowess shines through. 5. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence, physical phenoms, this is where you shine. From dancers to athletes, your body is your canvas for expression and mastery. 6. Interpersonal intelligence. Social butterflies. Unite. This intelligence is all about understanding others, building connections, and navigating the complexities of human relationships. 7. Intrapersonal intelligence. Self-aware superstars, this is your domain. Dive deep into your thoughts and feelings, explore your values, and chart your own path in life. 8. Naturalistic Intelligence For nature enthusiasts who feel most at home among trees, mountains, and wildlife, this intelligence involves understanding and appreciating the natural world. 9. Existential Intelligence Deep thinkers, this one's for you. Contemplate life's big questions, ponder the mysteries of existence, and seek meaning in the universe. So, how do these theories of intelligence play out in the real world? Well, let's consider their implications for education, work, and everyday life. In education, a one-size-fits-all approach to teaching and assessment can leave many students feeling left behind. By recognizing and valuing the diverse intelligence of each individual, Educators can create more inclusive and effective learning environments that cater to a wide range of strengths and talents. Similarly, in the workplace, embracing the principles of multiple intelligences can lead to greater innovation, collaboration, and job satisfaction. By leveraging the unique strengths of each team member, organizations can unlock new opportunities for growth and success. And in our personal lives, understanding our own intelligences can empower us to pursue paths that align with our passions and strengths. Whether we're crafting a work of art, solving a complex problem, or simply connecting with others on a deeper level, our intelligences shape the way we interact with the world around us. IQ, or Intelligence Quotient, has long been hailed as the gold standard for measuring intelligence. But how did it come to be? And what does it really tell us about the workings of the mind? Historically, IQ tests were developed as a means to identify students who needed extra support in school. However, over time, they morphed into a tool for categorizing individuals based on their supposed intellectual prowess. But here's the thing. Intelligence is far more nuanced than a single number can capture. 
While IQ tests may measure certain cognitive abilities like problem solving and logical reasoning, they often overlook other vital aspects of intelligence, such as creativity, emotional intelligence, and, pra and practical know-how. So, what does all this mean for you? Well, it means you're way more talented and unique than a simple IQ score could ever show. Whether you're a wordsmith or a whiz with numbers, there's a place for your brilliance in this world. So, there you have it. From IQ to multiple intelligences, the journey of understanding our minds is a fascinating adventure filled with twists, turns, and endless possibilities. So, keep exploring, keep learning, and never underestimate the power of your own intelligence. After all, the greatest discoveries often come from the most curious minds. Until next time, stay curious and keep shining bright. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell. To receive more insightful content, have a good day.